There are renewed calls for an ethics committee investigation into Senator Al Franken after accusations of sexual harassment. In a statement to WCCO today, Franklin said he is, <clears throat> pardon me, Franken says he is not resigning. Senator Franken's deputy chief of staff tells us he is spending time with his family and is doing a lot of reflecting and he knows he has to regain the trust of Minnesotans and that he feels terrible, terribly that he has let so many people down and is spending time with his family. As Esme Murphy reports, the senator remains in seclusion as the political firestorm against him grows. In the six days since two women have accused Senator Franken of inappropriately groping them, the senator has not made any public appearances. Political analyst Larry Jacobs says that could be a mistake. Senator Franken cannot hide. He's got to come out in public and address these charges and how he's going to respond to them. Senator Franken continues to receive support from former female colleagues. The latest is a list of 36 Saturday Night Live employees, including former stars Lorraine Newman and Jane Curtin, expressing support for Franken, saying, quote, After years of working with him, we would like to acknowledge that not one of us ever experienced any inappropriate behavior. The letter echoes a similar show of support from 14 former Senate staffers. So I want to ask you some questions. Since his convincing 2014 re-election win, Franken has emerged as a political force, most recently as a forceful critic of the Trump administration. If Senator Franken stays in the United States Senate, he's clearly politically diminished. He's no longer on the list to run for president. He's no longer going to be a leading spokesperson for progressives in the Democratic Party. Senator Franken's political action committee that has raised millions for Democrats across the country is also under fire. A number of prominent Democrats, including New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, have either returned or donated the Franken contributions. Esme Murphy, WCCO, 4 News. Today, the Minnesota Republican Party called on Democratic Congressman Tim Walz to return the money he has received from Al Franken. Late this afternoon, Congressman Walz spokesperson says he has no plans to return the money at this time. Walz is also running for governor of Minnesota. Today, President Trump spoke about Senator Franken. As far as Franken's concerned, uh, he's going to have to speak for himself. I'd rather have him speak for himself. Watch for continuing coverage of the allegations against Senator Franken online, on TV, and on social media.